Hi, Eagle fans. It's great to be with you today. It's the off season, but I thought I'd give you some nest news and try to make you smile, maybe even laugh, with a humorous short story starring Liberty and Guardian. First up is the news that Liberty and Guardian flipped another year on their age this past spring. Liberty is now 25 and Guardian is 10. Check out the related festivities on the Friends of the Reading Eagles Facebook page. Next, these images from Terry were taken in June on the last day before our beloved Eagles left Reading to soar about the country. This is Miss Liberty. And just above her in the same tree, here's Guardian lifting off for the summer vacation. Oh, there you are. Hello again, Eagle fans. I see we've entered story mode. Yep, it's Uncle Gary in the studio. Santa Claus was wondering what his less famous brother was up to. Well, now you know. Okay, here's our little story for the day. Then please stay tuned for some important nest news afterward. Shortly after the Eagles left for the summer, Liberty started sending texts with images of their travels. First was a wild time in Vegas, then time in the majestic mountains. And finally, they made it to the Pacific Coast, where apparently Liberty and Guardian are knee-deep in salmon fillets. It was then that I got a cryptic text from Liberty saying, Hey Gary, uh, please check back on the home security video. Sorry about the mess. Guardian will explain later. Can you guys please make repairs while we're out of town? Well, I had no idea what Liberty meant, so I checked the video. Lo and behold, the camera was pointing skyward. What? Well, I shot a quick text to Guardian. Dude, I said, what's up with the camera? G-Man said it was an accident that could have happened to anybody. It turns out that the incident happened while the G-Man was out brushing around the nest prior to leaving for the summer. This is a photo of G-Man from a few years back. It's a little known fact that the guard dog went to nest building lumber camp the summer before he met Liberty. They taught nest building there, but they did not each brush clearing skills. So let's take a look back together and roll the video and we will together see what really happened at the nest. We see G clearing brush, pushing and pulling, eagle handling the brush like a pro. Well, sort of like a pro. Oops. Mimi, the coyote fell over the cliff. Next, she comes back to the nest. And the next thing you know, he has a chainsaw. This can't end well. A little trim here. Oops, too much. Better even it out over there. And whap! Retro! Down goes the branch with the camera on it. Later that day, after Liberty found out about what happened, the two met on a perch for a talk down by the river. Liberty smiled, rolled her eyes, and said she'd make a couple of calls. You know what I always say, Guardian, right? Uh, don't try this at home, he guessed. No, stay in your lane. You're my man for building nests. But when it comes to chainsaws, you should leave that to Ron and Rex, our tree pros. 
Guardian looked a bit confused. Did I do it again, he said? Yep, you sure did, as they shared a huge laugh together. And so is the segue into real-life nest news. No, G-Man didn't cut the camera branch, but there was a related incident at the nest. Early this summer, after ending the season's live stream on YouTube, the tree branch that held the video camera broke below the camera installation point. This is a video of the branch at the point where it broke. The nest tree is a huge black cottonwood, more than 100 feet tall. According to our experts, the tree is dying from the top down. Evidence of that has become apparent in the past few years as the branches on top are failing to produce leaves. So, while the breaking of the branch had not been anticipated, it certainly was not a surprise. Liberty's first nest was just one tree over from the current. That first nest eventually lost a main support branch, forcing the eagles to move. There are other live trees surrounding the nest, so it's our hope that Liberty and Guardian will choose a close one if the existing nest loses support or viability. In late June of this year, after the Eagles left the territory for the summer, the time was right for maintenance at the nest cam. First, Terry consulted with Fish and Wildlife to gain approval for the field maintenance operations. Next, prior to the beginning of field work, Terry also consulted with our project manager, Joe, and our communications specialist, Dan. Once the fish and wildlife approval was in hand, Four's amazing team of experts responded to address the broken branch and camera issues. Terry assembled and led the field crew and then coordinated communications and activity amongst the team. Mike was on hand to document the day in amazing pictures and videos. What you're seeing here is from Mike, and as usual, the guy behind the camera rarely gets his face <laughs> on film. So, sorry about that, Mike, but thank you very much for the videos and photos. Terry's husband, Dave, labored valiantly out on Eagle Island. Dave, you have my admiration and gratitude for your long-term support of this endeavor. It's amazing. Ron and Rex are the amazing tree experts that Four has relied upon for many years. On the recent field maintenance day, they were tasked with climbing the nest tree, assessing the situation, and making repairs as possible. Safety was key for all. As you can see here, Ron climbed the giant cottonwood tree to the nest, some 90 to 95 feet above the ground. Ron was also tasked with retrieving the fallen cam. For a sense of scale, here is some video footage of Ron in the nest. It held Ron's weight without yielding, so that was a very good sign of stability. The team determined that there was just one safe location for camera remounting, one with an angle a little lower than the previous. Eagle safety was the crew's primary concern as always. It basically came down to a choice between this position or having no camera at all for this season. This is a sample video taken after the camera was remounted. You will see that the lower angle gives us a better profile of the eagle's activity, and I, for one, am excited about it. I want to thank the field crew for their amazing efforts, and I hope that you will do the same. 
This is not an easy thing to do. It takes days to plan and a long, hot day in the field to bring it to fruition. It definitely takes experts to be safe and conscientious. With all of my heart, my thanks to the field crew. Please note that the YouTube live stream will return in early fall when Liberty and Guardian typically return from their vacay. That should be around the beginning of October. You will receive notice from me and from your four socials when that happens. If you would like to make a donation to the Friends of the Reading Eagles, a 501c3 nonprofit, you can help to cover operating costs for equipment, maintenance, and internet fees. Just refer to the GoFundMe link in the description of this video or search for the Friends of the Reading Eagles on the GoFundMe site. Every little bit helps and thank you for giving. I do enjoy taking time off in the off season, but I want to let you know that I miss you all. And one and all, I am thinking of you and I miss you. That's it for today. We will talk soon. Until then, you know what? Be safe and be well.